Some newer oligarchs became wealthy through their ties to Putin, who has ruled Russia in one form or another since 2000. In 2001, Russia had eight billionaires worth a collective $12.4 billion. In 2021, 10 years later, there were 101 billionaires worth $432.7 billion, according to Forbes data. Putin has both enriched and punished oligarchs, treating them as pawns in his political chess matches. Mikhail Khodorkovsky, then Russia's richest man, was arrested in 2003 for tax crimes after he supported Putin's political rival. Khodorkovsky said the charges were fabricated, and he was pardoned and released in 2013. The oligarchs learned their wealth was conditional on obedience to Putin, but many of today's oligarchs are current or former Putin officials. As Putin has consolidated power and asserted state control over more private businesses, a new breed of oligarch emerged, the Silovark. The word combines oligarch and Siloviki, Russian for the country's military and security elite. Many Silovarks know Putin personally from his time in the KGB or from working under him in St. Petersburg during his early post-Soviet political career. Oligarchs face a rocky future as the West punishes Putin's Russia. As of March 14th, 20 of them are under personal sanction by the US and its allies. It no longer seems to matter which side, Russia or Ukraine, they've taken. Oligarchs who've sold their Russian assets and moved their holdings to the West are hurriedly distancing themselves from Putin and his regime. Many of them are being slapped with sanctions anyway. Silovarks and those with Russian assets haven't been protected by Putin, and they've seen their fortunes plummet as Russian markets collapse.